Hello again, everybody. I'm Scott Casper, along with Tony Hager. This is Global Wrestling News. Wayne Eric Boyd will be joining us a little later on in the program. We go to one of the biggest topics, and that, of course, the mega important Olympic year event, the first one in the U.S., the U.S. Open. It's now being called the U.S. Senior Nationals and Trials Qualifier. It'll take place Friday and Saturday at the Las Vegas Convention Center. The top seven finishers in each weight in men's and women's freestyle and Greco will all earn trips to April's U.S. Olympic team trials in Iowa City. Greco Roman hits the mats first and Spencer Mango has had a stranglehold on 59. Who can upset him? Uh, Jesse Thilke, he's had a, he had a strong showing at the Golden Grand Prix earlier this year. I think he has probably one of the best shots to knock him off. Uh, you also got to think about the you know the baddest man on the planet. He, he makes his return at the Open. Well, he is back at an old competition weight. He was the guy, and I'd be shocked to see him out of the top five. Moving on to 66 kilograms, Scott, I think Dylan Ness is the big story here. Huge college star. He's dangerous and folk style, that's for sure. I think uh, people and fans definitely need to uh, be in, in tune to this weight class. Have we seen Dylan compete at all at the senior level in Greco? He was out to Bill Farrell, but he had to default out for injuries. Um, I, this will be his biggest tournament that he'll be a part of, hopefully wrestling multiple, multiple matches. All right. What other storylines should we be looking for in that discipline? Well, Ben Provisor, he's pre-registered at 75 kilograms. Dan Lobdell has him ranked third at 85, up a weight. Uh, so if he's down a weight, I think he's a little bit more dangerous, obviously. But uh, Justin uh, Justin Lester is there, and he'll definitely be uh, standing in his way. 85, 98, and 130 intrigue you at all? Not so much 130 kilograms. Adam Kuhn really is the, the heavy favorite there. At 98 kilograms, uh, you got Jared Trice, Kaylor Williams, Joe Rao. You know, those would be the guys you need to watch for. Uh, 85 kilograms, it's led by uh, Patrick Martinez, John Anderson, uh, both Army guys. Uh, one of those guys will definitely be the champ. Well, moving on to women's wrestling, 48 kilos is missing some of the heavy hitters there like Alyssa Lampy, Clarissa Chun, and Victoria Anthony. Is there a breakout star at 48? I don't think uh, there's really a breakout star, but some names you might not normally see will be on the award stand. Uh, Cody Fowl, she'll be a favorite. Uh, Marina and Regina Doy. Uh, they could sneak in there. Uh, with those big names out of the, this weight class, uh, these women really have an opportunity to, to qualify for the World Team Trials. All right. I think Whitney Condor would look to be a huge favorite to win at 53, but is there no clear favorite at 58? Deshaya Allo, Kelsey Campbell, Jennifer Page, those are among the, the ones that I would see to pick there. Uh, this will be one of the, the most contested weight classes uh, at this qualifier. Aaron Conjo, Lee Jane Provisor, all registered at 63. I've got to imagine this is one of the more anticipated matchups of the weekend. I agree. Uh, Provisor is coming off that bronze finish at the World Championships uh, in Vegas just a couple months ago. You know, uh, that has to give her a lot of confidence going into this. But, you know, my pick would be to, to go with Aaron with the Sunkiss Kids at the, the title. Nice pick there. Well, you have to go with the 2008 Olympic bronze medalist Randy Miller. 69, I think. How about you? Uh, lots of highly ranked wrestlers are registered at 69. Uh, she's she's the favorite, but you can't sleep on uh, Veronica Carlson, Julia Salata, Tamara Mensa. You know, I think think this comes down to you know where they will be all placed in the bracket. Uh, Carlson is the favorite, but really second through fourth, fifth, that is going to really determine on where they get their seating. I'm going to give you a prediction. 75 kilos. Jackie Slurber from Titan Mercury, my favorite there. And speaking of Titan Mercury, that wrestling club out of San Marino, California, they're going to be seeking their third straight open team title. Will they repeat? I would say without a question, they just have the numbers to, to bring it, you know, bring that title back to San Marino. I mean, they if you look at the rankings, they've got at least two to three highly ranked wrestlers at every single weight class. You know, they weren't even going to keep score and do a team title until uh, Wayne Boyd and Andy Barth suggested, hey, why not? It seems like a good idea. It does to us, too. All right, we'll take a quick time out talking men's freestyle when we return. This is Global Wrestling News. <laughs> 